Le peloton derrière eux est maintenant en train de se disperser. Monsieur, ils ne sont plus qu'à 25 secondes de ce groupe. On a plus de vie qui est en train de perdre des rouges. Il y a le meilleur classement. Et ce matin, 17ème. Il n'y a plus que 50 mètres à faire maintenant. Et ils semblent trouver de la vitesse. Mais voilà qu'ils voient quelque chose. Ils remontent et dépassent. C'est donc Giroto qui l'emporte. Bravo, Giroto. Cette étape a été tout à fait exceptionnelle. Comme vous l'avez constaté. Stalls of Chelsea wine boxes. Merci. 24 glasses at the touch of a button. Christmas, Walworth is right up your street. The continual sweep. One hundredth of a second, chronograph. A world first from Seiko. Seiko, the measure of greatness. Draft Worthington is now available at home. Worthington with a widget. The ring pull that tastes hand pull. Two folded fingers coated in delicious Cadbury's chocolate. Take five for a Cadbury's twirl. Do you think you can sing? Well, now's your big chance on Karaoke Challenge. Call in and record your version of a favourite song, or listen to the best and worst callers from last week. The best singer each week wins £100, and there are five runners-up prizes of an album or CD of your choice, plus the chance to be famous on the phone. Karaoke Challenge, 0898 88 Britain finds itself isolated once again in Europe, this time over the question of our budget rebate. At the Foreign and Finance Minister's meeting in Brussels, Britain was alone in saying we should keep the £2 billion rebate Baroness Thatcher negotiated 12 years ago. We will not accept uh, any uh, adverse uh, change in terms of the financial, financial effect that it has on the UK. It cannot really be uh, accepted that the British government maintains a view that everything can be discussed except uh, the British rebate. Britain argues that while we're only the eighth richest country in the community, we're the second biggest contributor to community funds. Germany has acted to curb the racist violence sweeping the country. It banned one of its many neo-Nazi parties and rounded up eight members of another far-right gang. The government said other groups would also be banned if the violence didn't stop. In Hamburg, the funeral service was held for the three Turks killed by neo-Nazi firebombers on Monday. And up to 50 people are reported to have been killed in a coup attempt in Venezuela. Fierce fighting lasted for 10 hours during which the presidential palace was bombed by rebel aircraft. The government says it's now regained complete control. That's it for now. The morning news is at 5.30.